Hey everybody, welcome back to TGI Fantasy. We are Cloud, as always. Okay, so what is going on? I don't know. Do you remember? Okay. Barely. Uh, so, the Turks smooshed everybody in Sector 7. Which way should I go? Uh, including our friends Biggs, Wedge, and Jesse. Jesse! Jesse! We need to um, cook more, Jesse! And now we're heading to find uh, Marlene, <gasps> Barrett's daughter, who is staying at Eris's mom's house. So not this way. In fact, yeah. I'm going the wrong way. In fact, it is this way. Is it not? I don't remember. This is going to the church, right? No. Yeah, this is her house. No, that's not her house. This that's... is Eris's house. I mean, there's a lot of light coming out there. You oh, think no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not her house. Should I check here? If you want, ma'am. There's people here. Oh, also, Eris was uh, kidnapped by the Turks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we were taking care of the, the uh, flowers for the uh, lady here. Is that okay? Is that okay? I don't mind. Take good care of them. Yeah. Sure. Whatever. Okay. Uh, let's poop on them. <laughs> that is a nice little moment. Hey, the poop would probably make it grow faster. Uh, which way is her house? The other way. Oh, oh cool. there's the gate. This is like the first time though that we've like stepped out and looked just at the outside. It feels yeah. very much like a prison. Yeah, it does. Okay. Damn it. Let's see. It's been a little bit, so I can't remember the Oops. I healed up everybody. That was my mistake. It just it's it's been a while, and like you activate the cheats by clicking in the sticks. So it's like, oh, I, I just wanted to turn it up, but yeah, a little Dang stick it. click, stick clicky, click sticky. Hi, the money was stick clicky. I'm a cover band for Thin Lizzy. <laughs> is this her house? Yes. I don't know. I think this is the church. <laughs> was I Eris's mom? Uh, yeah, besides Eris. Cloud, wasn't it? It's about Eris, isn't it? Uh, sorry, the, the Shinra have her. I know, they took her from here. They were here? It's kind of hard to hide, it's the only not shit house <laughs> down here. That's what Eris wanted. She wanted to be taken away by the Turks. She doesn't love you. <laughs> Why is Shinra after Eris? Eris is an ancient, the sole survivor. No, she's young. Well, what did you say? But are you her mother? Not her real mother. It must have been 15 years ago. During the war, my husband was sent to the front, some faraway place called Wutai. The Wu Tai Gang. One day, I went to the station because I got a letter saying he was coming home on leave. Oh, does that Jess? That's Jesse and Biggs. Holy shit! You're right. I never noticed that before. Oh no, <laughs> that's so sad. Yeah. You really couldn't notice when it wasn't HD. Yeah, it's just like the three pixels moving around. And that was 15 years ago? Wow, they're old. Yeah. Wow, is that everybody's default move? <laughs> it was all the rage 15 years ago. Yeah, how old are... <laughs> <laughs> How old are Biggs and Jesse? Maybe it was their parents. Maybe, but both of their parents? Yeah, it was Jesse's mom and Biggs' dad. Oh. My husband never came back. I wonder if something happened to him. No, I'm sure his leave just uh, canceled. I went to the station every day. Then one day... I got gooseys right there, dude. Oh, 
Oh. You used to see this sort of thing a lot during the war. Her last words were, please take Eris somewhere safe. My husband never came back. I had no child, I was lonely, so I decided to take her home with me. You know, Final Fantasy VII, I really like that it doesn't lean into death monologues. Yeah. Crisis Core leans into death monologues. <laughs> yeah. Harris and I became very uh, close very quickly. That child loves to talk. She used to talk to me about everything. She told me she escaped from some kind of research laboratory and that her mother had ret already returned to the planet. She wasn't lonely, many other things. Return to the planet? I didn't know what she meant. I asked if she meant a star in the sky. Because that makes more sense. <laughs> Obviously, that's what she meant. So, but she said it was this planet. She, she was a mysterious child in many ways. Mom. That was cool. Yeah. Please don't cry. Eris just blurted that out all of a sudden when I asked her if something happened. Someone dear to you has just died. His spirit was coming to see you. But he's already returned to the planet. Hush, hush, you stupid child. You mean to the stars. <laughs> At that time, I didn't believe her. But several days later, we received a notice saying my husband died. And that was it. A lot happened, but we were happy. Until one day, you showed up. <laughs> Let's see, what was saying? Oh, I was... Didn't I do my, like... Dream? No, uh... I was, like, two of the Turks. I was... I was Reno. I think I was saying... Because he was in the helicopter, right? Yes. And I think I just did, like, a generic voice. You can be saying. Oh, well, I thought I was gonna do a shoe voice. You yeah. did a shoe voice for President Shinra. No, for President Shinra, I did... Oh. Like that. Oh, you did the President... Oh, oh... Okay, go ahead and be saying, yeah. We wanted you to return Eris to us. We've been searching here for her for a long time. No, never. Eris, you're a special child. You are of special blood. Your real mother was an ancient. At that moment, I found out she was an ancient. Because I knew what that meant. The Ancients will lead us to a land of supreme happiness. Eris will be able to bring happiness to all those in the slums. That is why Shinra would like Eris's cooperation. He's wrong. I'm not an Ancient. I'm not. But Eris, surely you hear voices sometimes when you're all alone. No, I don't. But I knew, I knew about her mysterious powers. She tried so hard to hide it, so I acted as, acted as though I didn't ever notice. It's amazing how she avoided the Shinra for all these years. The Shinra need her, so I guess they wouldn't harm her. But why now? She brought a little girl here with her. Sang found them on their way here. She probably wasn't fast enough to get away. She decided to go to the Shinra in exchange for the little girl's safety. Marlene. Marlene! Eris was caught because of Marlene? I'm sorry. Marlene's my daughter. I'm really sorry. You're her father? How in the world could you ever leave a child alone like that? Please don't start with that. I'm always thinking about what might happen to Marlene if I... But you gotta understand something. I don't got any answers. I want to be with Marlene, but I gotta fight. Because if I don't, the planet's gonna die. So I'm gonna keep fighting. But inside, I'm always thinking of her. 
I just want to be with her always. See, I'm going in circles now. I think I know what you mean. She's upstairs asleep. Why don't you go and see her? Parrot kind of calmly walked up there. It's, it's sort of interesting. Uh, I mean, this comes up later because, um, so spoilers slightly, that uh, Marlene is Barrett's adopted daughter mm-hmm. and Eris is uh, this gal's adopted daughter. Mm-hmm. What's her name? <laughs> Elmira. El- Elmira. Elmira. It's my fault. I was the one who got Eris involved in this. Don't say that. Eris doesn't think so. <sighs> Who was Marlene? Mm, I don't know. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad you're all right. I think I was, and I did her like really sassy. Okay. Daddy, don't cry. Your whiskers hurt. <laughs> That's not right. Forget about it. It's me, Marlene. Oh, twist here. That's super cute. Cloud, you gotta go help Eris, right? She's done so much for me. If the Shinner's involved, I ain't staying here. I'm coming too. <laughs> I gotta get away from Marlene. I'm already bored of her. Oh yeah, I lied. I lied down there. Guess what? Guess what? Eris asked me lots of questions. Like, what kind of pussy Cloud is? I bet she likes you, Cloud. <laughs> I don't know. Dummy. <laughs> Stupid kids don't know anything. It's funny where Marlene goes from being like so sh- painfully shy she can't be in the same room with Cloud uh-huh. to calling him a, a dummy. Yeah. I like that uh, arc. Arc the lad? Yes. You're going after Eris, right? Yeah. I'm coming with you. We're going right in the Shinra headquarters. You got to be prepared for the worst. I know. Right now, I feel I have to push myself to the limit. Take it to the limit. If I stay here, I'll go crazy. So it's all about you, Tifa. (laughs) Sorry, but can you take care of Marlene a bit longer? Yes, I don't mind. This place is dangerous now. You better go somewhere else. You're right, but promise me that you'll come back to her. Don't get yourself killed. Mm. What fools going to their deaths. <laughs> and that will be the last time I ever see them. How do we get to the Shinra building? There ain't no train that goes up there anymore. Good. <laughs> well, let's go to Wall Market. And we might be able to figure find something there. Okay. Remember where Wall Market was? Yes. Uh, so we leave and then head. It's past the playground. Is it Weast? W- yeah, where Don Corneo was. I know where. Yeah, I know like of it. <laughs> it's not like we spent like a couple episodes there, right? <laughs> nope. Nope. Ooh. Oh. Materia. Sense. We are Materia girls in a Materia world. And I am a Materia girl. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh. So, Material uh, Girl is said twice in the chorus? Isn't, isn't it? it? I don't know. What's the real lyric? We're living in a Material world. And I am a Material girl. Whoa, oh, Material girl. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I actually might be slightly wrong. Okay, I think we need to talk to somebody to get... Uh, I wonder if there's something now with this. No, actually this is super late game. Okay. You need some like super item that the Gatling gun gun doesn't shoot you. What's Rick? Did you see Rick on that sign back there? Okay, I'm coming back. Okay, top right. Rick Sanchez on the right. Oh, like that... Blue thing? Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah, first appearance of Rick Sanchez. Is this pile of trash getting bigger? Yeah, I think so. A lot of things came falling down from the Sector 7 pillar fell. 
Right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, the only of your weapon shop scavenged all the stuff when it came falling down. Oh, is that why? He seems pretty suspicious these days. Oh, you, you mean he went out to the plane cross section next to the Don's Mansion, right? Oh, you know, I wonder what he's doing. Yeah, it gives me the chills. Huh, okay. So is that a foreshadowing? Hint of where to go? Probably. Weapon shop guy? Or was he saying that... Oops. Ooh. Hmm. You going up to the plate? You better have batteries. You're gonna sell me something you just found? Hey, you know, I repaired them, so it's all right. Why do I need batteries to climb up to the plate? You'll find out when you get there. How about 100 gil for each? I think oh. we have to. All right, I'll take them. You received batteries. In quotes. Thank you. So now we got our batteries. Oh. Want to see something awesome? Follow me. Ooh. I love it when I feel like just that point when it's like, okay, now where? And it's like, oh, here. Everyone's climbing up this wire. Looks scary. Ooh. Can we climb it? Yeah, it leads to the upper world. All right, we'll climb the wire. There's no way we can do this. You know how far up it goes? There is a way. Look what that's uh, what that looked like. What? Just What's just that? a normal wire. Oh yeah. Well, to me it looks like a golden shiny wire of hope. Uh Barrett, you have one hand. <laughs> how are you going to climb it? <laughs> You're right. This is the only way to save Harris. Okay, that was a bad analogy, but Barrett, I understand how you feel. Let's mosey. <laughs> Not until later. <laughs> yep. Boy. Three times speed! Oh man, this is horrible. It's scary, huh? Dad told me that it was the Shinner doing it. Okay, I don't think there are rando battles up here. Oh, you have to put the battery in that box down there? Oh, silly me. Guess I'll just have to believe the shopkeeper. I don't know how the shopkeeper knew this. I, well, the shopkeeper was exploring around it, wasn't oh, it? Oh, okay. Like that one guy said. Okay. Can you move? No. Okay, alright. Huh. Okay. Complicated. Okay. Oh, okay. more batteries. Oh. Okay. Oh, this is tricky. You've got to time it just right. Okay. Make the only way to jump down to the bar. Should I make it if I... I should come, should make it if I jump before it comes too close. Press X to oh, jump. Oh, so it has to be in the middle, do you think? Before it comes too close? Mm-hmm. Okay. Damn. Jump too soon. Okay. Damn. So too soon. It makes me think it needs to be closer. Despite what he says. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. Nope. I maybe he just always says jump too soon. Maybe you have to catch it as as it swings away. Uh, then uh, then I, that's too. Oops. I think I got it. Okay. Wasn't that close? I feel like it's closest, like Ooh. right there. Want me to go to trivia? <laughs> While I work on this? Yeah. See, because that's when it's going away. It's like way too far when it's going away. Okay, yeah, Cloud, we get it. Damn it, Cloud. Grab onto it, bud. Okay. Uh, back to randomtriviagenerator.com. Thanks to those folks. I hope they're not terrible in real life. <laughs> well, they kind of have terrible trivia. Okay. What is the name of the hero in most of Tom Clancy's novels? Tom Clancy? Uh, 
Is it Jack Ryan? The oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Jack Ryan. Okay. Elba. Damn is it. Okay. Elba is the Gaelic name for what country? So if it's Scotland. Uh, Elba, I'm going to just say Ireland? God. Oh, Scotland. Nice. How do I do this? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what book was Mark David Chapman carrying there we when, go. He was, when he shot John Lennon? You had to wait for it to be extremely close. Oh. Uh, reading when he shot Jen Le John Lennon? Okay, yeah, the Mark David Chapman who assassinated John Lennon. What was he reading, or what did he have on his person? Um, great Expectations. Catcher in the Rye. Oh, that makes sense. Which literary work's title character is named Ra Roy Hobbs? I don't know. I don't. The Natural. Never heard of it. In the computer world, what does the abbreviation R-A-M stand for? Uh-oh. The F? R-A-M in the literature world? No, in uh, the computer world. Here, everybody. We get to see this again. <laughs> The R A M Ram, what does it stand for? Yeah, you don't know. Um, ready memory. <laughs> it's uh, ran, um, damn it, I forgot. Okay, it's it's. I think it's random access memory. Yeah, random access memory. What did goldfish lose if kept in dimly lit or uh, or running water? What? What do goldfish lose if if kept in dimly lit or running Captain water? Kept in dimly... Oh, kept. Kept. Uh, their eyes? Their color. Oh, really? Huh. That's kind of interesting. Oh, here we go. Dude, so sick. Yeah, dude. It's like ready to storm the castle. We're going in. Cloud had one last look, like, you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Hey, you ought to know this building well. Not really. Now that I think about it, this is the first time I've ever been to the headquarters. Well, that seems like bullshit. Are you <laughs> sure you're not just a crazy hobo? <laughs> who's lying about who's, being... Who's imprinted on his best friend who really was the person you're pretending to be? <laughs> I heard about this place before. Every floor above the 60th is special and not easy to get to get to even for employees. Must be where they took Eris. The security is pretty light now. All right, let's go. Wait a second. We're, you're not thinking of going right through the main entrance, are you? Well, what else does it look like? I'm going to kick some Shinra butt and... That's not going to work. We've got to find another way. Ain't gonna be no other way. If we keep wasting time like this, aerosol. I know what, but it, I know that. But if we get caught here, hey Cloud, what should we do? Uh, let's do the sneaky sneakies, the okay. sneaky snacky, the sneaking quietly. See, let's be careful and find a. <laughs> See, route. Cloud agrees with me. Cloud's the most important person in the world. Okay, uh, let's save it. And we'll sneak into the Shinra headquarters next Friday. Thank you, everybody, for watching. We'll see you then. Bye. Bye.